we are going to change things by using a USB to USB. This is one side is going to the computer, and then the other side is going to go to the device you decide to use. So we are going to plug in the USB to the controller, and it should power up the controller. Most of the time, these like to be uh, programmed while they're powered off. And then, then they need a power cycle, an on and off power cycle. So let's work our way over so I could show you Robot C. So Robot C graphical is what we're going to use when we program. But for now, to get them to work the way we want to, we need to use Robot C for robotics. And this is non-graphical. So once we click the Robot C, it'll bring us to what we need to see. And everything we need should be on the screen, I hope. So, we'll make this full size. We need to get ourselves the format to make sure our robot is set up. So, if we click on these things, the things are drop down just like every other program. And we go through and you see your options. So, first thing we need to do is go to robot and make sure that we have the right selection going. So, first thing we have to do is go down to platform type, click on Vex Cortex. Double check it right here. Make sure it's not on Vex IQ. It's completely different robot system, different language and everything. And we need natural going. All right, so once those are set up, it'll give you the options so that you can choose VexNet or USB. We're going to choose both of those because that's going to give us the ability to program through the remote to the robot so we don't have to tether with this cable all the time. So now that we have the right things selected, we're going to go to download firmware and we're going to manually update the firmware so that we reset the computer okay so robot c firmware i believe is for the robot it'll erase everything that was in there before so we're going to do joystick and we're going to collect standard file and then we're going to download it now watch the usb i'm in the remote the lights flicker okay everything's going everything's updating notice it's flashing and we're learning something. That's reprogramming the controller for us right now. Okay, so now it says we're done. The lights are saying that the joystick is red because the joystick is not on. And it's saying that VexNet or plug is connected to it. So that's good. So we're going to say OK then unplug it and that's going to do a power cycle so that one's done so we're going to work our way over to the robot we're going to plug that in and that should fire up the brain so it's looking to see robots red because there's no battery next that has got something plugged into it so now we're going to do the same format we're going to go to robot download firmware we're going to update the vex cortex system we're going to hit that you download in progress, the lights should change. All firmware was up to date. Okay, so that's a good sign. So now we're going to do the same format. Now we're going to download or manually update the CPU firmware. And you guys should have this number there. It should be the only option you have. It's going to go down, and again, you're going to watch the lights flicker and change. All right, see so it erase the device, and now it's writing new firmware down and as this goes through it's going to erase everything we had in there so anybody who was programming it on before if you turn it on and off before it would start running the program all right so we have successfully downloaded so we're going to okay i'm going to unplug this that is going to do our reset of power